We've been helping students get into med school for over two decades, and Harvard Medical School is the most common dream school among the students we've supported. It might feel like getting in is more of a pipe dream with the matriculation rate hovering around 2%, but it's absolutely doable. Several of our students get in each year. Of course, you'll have to have an excellent application, including great secondary essays. You can learn more about how to strategize your essay pre-writing, brainstorming, and drafting process by checking out the videos in our secondary series. But in this video, we'll just be quickly going over each Harvard Medical School secondary essay prompt and offering some insight into what the prompt is asking, what adcoms are looking for in your response, and how you can make sure your essays stand out. We'll be referring to Harvard's secondary essay prompts from the 2024 to 2025 application cycle. Medical schools don't often change their essay prompts from one cycle to the next, so it's wise to start the pre-writing process with the previous year's prompts before secondaries are released for your own application year. This way, you'll be able to get a lot of the heavy lifting done before you even receive your secondary applications. And then you'll be able to submit your secondaries within just a few weeks of receiving them. We routinely check for new prompts though, so we'll update the secondary resources on our site if there are any changes. We also have sample essays for every HMS secondary prompt, as well as every other prompt required by all US and Canadian med schools. You can find a link to that essay library by clicking the link on screen. All right, with that, let's jump in. We should start by explaining that Harvard med secondaries are a little unique in that all three of the prompts are technically optional. This means you should really only answer these prompts if they apply to you, and we'll talk about how to determine whether or not they apply to you as we go through each of them. The bottom line here, though, is that in most cases, it will not reflect poorly on you if you don't answer. Then again, if you choose not to respond to a prompt that does apply to you, you could miss out on an opportunity to add context and clarity to your application unless you've already addressed the relevant topics in your personal statement or a different part of your application. Okay. Let's look at the first prompt. Prompt one reads, if you have already graduated, briefly summarize your activities since graduation. If you respond, you'll have up to 4,000 characters for your essay. So obviously you shouldn't respond to this prompt unless you've already graduated at the time you're applying to med school. If this is the case for you, know that it's fairly common for applicants to take time off between undergrad and med school and adcoms don't view that as a weakness. Actually, First year students at Harvard Med in fall of 2024 actually ranged in age from 21 all the way up to 34. What Harvard's looking for in your response to this prompt is basically just some evidence that you've been working toward your goals and adding things to your resume that'll help make you a great med student and future doctor. This includes things like research and clinical experience with patient exposure, of course, and it's worth noting that 99% of matriculants had research experience when applying, so it's safe to say that it's a must-have. But if you decided a little later in life that you want to pursue a career in medicine, that's okay too. Either way, you should mention work and volunteer experience that has equipped you with skills that transfer well into medicine, like anything service-oriented or customer-facing, anything in a lab, any position where you interacted with people from diverse backgrounds or any position where you had to lead other people. One thing I want to point out here, even though the prompt asks you to briefly summarize your activities, you should still include the essential details like the title of any roles held, a description of your responsibilities, and a reflection on what you gained from the experience. As with all essays, be concise, but don't be vague. Uh, they're giving you 4,000 characters, which again is about 500 words. So that's a decent hint that they want your response to be in a proper essay structure, not just a bulleted list. All right. Moving on to the second prompt, it reads, if there is an important aspect of your personal background or identity not addressed elsewhere in the application that may illuminate how you could contribute to the medical school and that you would like to share with the committee, we invite you to do so here. Examples might include a significant challenge in access to education, unusual socioeconomic factors, or other aspects of your personal or family background to place your prior academic achievements in context or provide further information about your motivation for a career in medicine or the perspectives you might bring to the medical school community. Many applicants will not need to answer this question. You have 4,000 characters to respond to this one too. So this prompt is basically a blend of the diversity essay and the additional information essay categories. You shouldn't feel obligated to answer it if you really feel like it doesn't apply to you or if you feel you already thoroughly explored the relevant topics in your personal statement essay. You want your secondaries to build on the foundation of your personal statement, not merely repeat it. 
But for some applicants, this might be the only place you have a chance to write about how your background or identity has shaped your worldview and influenced your decision to pursue a career in medicine. The prompt gives you a few examples of possible topics, and a few more we could add to that list are being a first-gen college student, having a marginalized gender identity or sexual orientation, growing up in a rural area, growing up in a specific cultural, religious, or ethnic context, caring for an ill relative long-term, coming from an immigrant family, or having a really unique hobby. Also keep in mind that if you discuss challenges in this essay, you also want to describe how you actively work to try to overcome those challenges rather than just passively observing them. But whatever you end up writing about, if anything at all, don't forget to address that last bit of the prompt, the part that reads, provide further information about your motivation for a career in medicine or the perspectives you might bring to the medical school community. Answers like, I want to pursue medicine because I want to help people won't stand out as memorable or grounded in concrete experience. Get as detailed as possible. And if you can mention some initiatives, institutes, student groups, or research at Harvard that directly relate to your career interests, uh, your application is even more likely to move forward to the interview stage. All right, moving on to the final prompt. It reads, the interview season for the 2024 to 2025 cycle will be held virtually and is anticipated to run from mid-September through January 2025. Please indicate any significant, three or more weeks, restriction on your availability for interviews during this period. If none, please leave this section blank. You have 1,000 characters to respond. Well, unlike the first two, this one isn't really an essay prompt. Um, the adcom isn't trying to trick you, so don't overthink it. They really are only asking for scheduling purposes. Uh, you still want to make it abundantly clear that med school interviews are at the top of your priority list, though, so you should only mention legitimate and truly unavoidable scheduling conflicts here. And if you do have any availability issues, you need to let them know about it. Don't feel like uh, you have to get into a long, elaborate explanation. Just keep it short and to the point. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap up there. We hope this helps with your brainstorming and writing process as you prepare to write your own HMS secondaries. And if you're looking for sample essays for each of these prompts or prompts and sample essays for every other med school in the US and Canada, check out our secondary essay premium example hub. Take care.